Hello from Goodwood. It's the end of the second day of the 2019 Katagoba Festival. I'm Sam Hansen and with me to talk about all the action from today is Racing Post senior writer Lee Mottishead. So Lee, a different day, a different race, but same connections. Well, two of the same faces anyway in the Sussex Stakes, Frankie Dettori and that man John Gosden. Twas ever thus. He is too darn hot. He's Mr Dettori. Uh, everyone's saying that, so why shouldn't I? Um, it's just an incredible run. Um, if we talk about the race first and then the, the man who was on, on top, um, too darn hot produced a sort of performance that I think his connections had been expecting him to produce in a race like this at some point this mm. year. They've been the first to admit that they got it wrong at the start of the year. They weren't helped by the horse having a splint problem, which delayed his return. They then trained him for the derby. It became obvious to them after the Dante, he wasn't a derby horse. They then regretted going for the Irish Guineas. And it's just taken a while, I think, to get to Donhart to where they thought he could be. This was always the, the obvious ideal race for him if he was to win a European Group 1 in that they found at Ascot. He just didn't quite have the stamina for Ascot Stiff Mile. And he flattened that here. This is an easier mile than Goodwood. It places different demands on a horse. And they were demands that proved perfectly suited to a speed miler like Tudan Hart, who settled the race quite quickly once Frankie got after him in the final furlong. Circus Maximus, his Royal Ascot Concrete, ran a perfectly good race, ran a very good race. Uh, and he was, he was just beaten by a horse who had too much toe for him in the closing stages. Uh, they'll work forward now to the Breeders' Cup mile, which again, with its, with its turning mile at Santa Anita, looks another really obvious, ideal race for two darn hot and he, he'll be a, a, a tough horse to beat in that you know we saw last year with expert eye um, that these European milers can be potent in the American turf mile contests expert eye probably wasn't an absolutely vintage European championship miler and truth be told two darn hot on the form we saw today with a blanket covering the first the only eight runners probably isn't either but he'll still be hard to beat sure and and a word on that man Frankie Ah, it's just amazing, isn't it? Um, he's setting a Group 1 winning pace that is unprecedented in Europe. Um, it's now 11 Group 1s in the space of 62 days, 10 in the space of 43 days, five, sorry, 3 in the space of 5 days. Um, Ryan Moore sets the record, has the record for European Group Grade 1 wins in a year, 22 and 26 and in 17. But even he hadn't, didn't ride as many Group 1 victories in the concentrated period that Frankie has managed. He's 48 years old, he's having a complete renaissance, he's riding better than ever and it's wonderful to see because he is, by a country mile, the biggest name in world horse racing and the fact he's riding so well, putting racing in the headlines for all the right reasons is marvellous. Someone else wanted to make sure that he wasn't the only name in yes. World Horse Racing today, and that man is Mark Johnston. Um, truly remarkable. He had two winners today um, with Sir Ron Priestley and Mrs Bouquet, bringing him up to 50 winners for the month. Yeah, again, a pace that you can't really get your head around, 50 winners in a calendar month. Um, you know, he'd probably be having towards 60 in 2020. <laughs> two more winners at a track he adores, mm. at a festival he always does so well at. Uh, and they come at a very timely moment too because anyone that watched the news bulletins this morning will have seen the, the incredible turn of weather in Yorkshire and that impacted on Mark's yard and home in Midlam um, with a lot of water damage. Um, so at home, the very much going to be all hands on deck, um, but the horses are representing the yard fantastically well. And as you say, 50 winners in one calendar month is just astonishing. Yeah. Uh, and eight races on the card today. Uh, what other performances or what other news headlines would you take out today? Um, well, of course, Sir Mark Prescott won the Goodwood Stakes yeah. um, with a horse who had a lot of ones against his name, but hadn't run for an awful long time. It was the plan. The next plan is the Cesarovich. And we should mention the other group race on the card, won by Liberty Beach, won the Malcolm Stakes, yeah. trained by John Quinn. Um, it was a messy race, as Goodwood races often are. It was also a race marred by the death of Aussie showstopper, the Richard Hughes trained juvenile. Um, much better news for the Quinn camp, whose horse had trouble in running, but came through uh, to win the prize under Jason Hart. 
John Quinn is very keen to aim towards the Breeders' Cup, like to Darn Hot. The owner isn't quite so keen, so John has a convincing job to do there. Um, but what isn't in any doubt is he has a, a very smart horse in Liberty Beach um, who produced a really good performance on a day when, as you say, it was that man again, De Tori, too darn hot. Absolutely. Thank you very much for joining us and don't forget to download the free Racing Post app for all the must-have Goodwood info.